Yeah, so like with the premise of before time, space, and matter existed, something caused it to uh, occur, mm -hmm. would you need time to have a cause? No, because when God creates the universe and creates the space-time continuum, the, the, the creation event and, the, and, and God doing it are simultaneous. It's a simultaneous cause. Much like this uh, light right here is being hung by a bolt on this beam, it's a simultaneous cause that the light is hanging from the bolt from the beam. It's all happening at the same time. Yeah, yes, I, I, I get that. I struggle to combine that with something causing time to exist because this exists in time. Yes. When someone creating time exists before time. You know yes, and it's hard to even talk about it because when we say before, yeah, we're implying chronolo exactly. chronologically before, but what we mean by, here's a big word for you, it sounds like you're educated so you already know this, ontologically before. Mm -hmm. That God existed ontologically prior to the creation of time. And if God is timeless, he doesn't have a beginning, right? Sure. So he is timeless, so he's uncreated. And he brings everything into existence. Now, William Lane Craig, Dr. William Lane Craig, I don't know if you've heard that name, has studied this quite extensively, has books on it, and has a, uh, a website called reasonablefaith.org and also a podcast you can listen to. And he gets into all this God in time. So if you're really interested in that, check out William Lane Craig. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you.